Good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday. I am so glad that you and you are joining me today. Before we talk about today's worship service, let's sing a quick song to welcome everyone that has joined us. Hello, everybody. How do you do? How do you do? How do you do? Hello, everybody. How do you do? God loves you today. Thank you for singing with me. Today is the second Sunday after Epiphany. You might notice that we are back in ordinary time where we use green to show that we are growing. Now, in today's service, we will hear four readings. Our first reading is from the book of Psalms. We will hear, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. A refuge is like a shelter or a safe place. Our second reading is from the book of Genesis. This is the very first book in the Bible, all the way at the beginning. Today, we will read just one verse from this book. We will hear, So God created humankind in God's image. In the image of God, they were created. Our third reading is from the book of 1 John, which is a letter. There you go. We will hear, God is love. We will also hear, those who say, I love God and hate their brothers or sisters are liars. For those who do not love a brother or sister whom they have seen cannot love God whom they have not seen. Our fourth reading is from the Gospel of John. Remember, the Gospels are the four stories about Jesus' life. In today's gospel reading, we will hear Jesus say, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. When I imagine God as our refuge, our safe place, and also as love, I also think about how we were made in God's image, how we too can be safe places, how we can be love, how through our love, we can make the world a safer place for everyone. Tomorrow is an important day. It is Martin Luther King Jr. Day. You might have talked about it with your family or at school or in other spaces before. But it's important in church, too. Remembering Martin Luther King Jr. and others who have fought to make a difference inspires me. Remembering everyone who has fought for love, even when people hurt them instead of loving them, is important. Our history tells us a lot about our present and the world we live in. So today's story is a poem about the history of our country. The author, Kwame Alexander, says in the afterword of the book that he wrote the poem because to know who we are, we have to accept and embrace all of our woes, which are like sad parts, and all of our wonders. He also says that this poem is to remind himself his daughter, and all of us to never give up. Are you ready? The Undefeated by Kwame Alexander and Kadir Nelson. This is for the unforgettable, the swift and sweet ones who hurdled history and opened a world of possible. The ones who survived America by any means necessary, 
and the ones who didn't. This is for the undeniable, the ones who scored with chains on one hand and faith in the other. This is for the unflappable, the sophisticated ones who box adversity and tackle vision, who shine their light for the world to see and don't stop till the break of dawn. This is for the unafraid, the audacious ones, who carry the red, white, and weary blues on the battlefield to save an imperfect union. The righteous marching ones who sang, we shall not be moved because black lives matter. This is for the unspeakable. This is for the unspeakable. This is for the unspeakable. This is for the unlimited, unstoppable ones. The dreamers and doers who swim across the big sea of our imagination and show us the majestic shores of the promised land. The Wilma Rudolphs, the Muhammad Albis, the Althea Gibsons, the Jesse Owenses, the Jordans and the Lebrons, the Serenas and the Cheryls, the Reese Whitleys, and the Undiscovered. This is for the unbelievable, the we real cool ones. This is for the unbending, the black as the night is beautiful ones. This is for the underdogs and the uncertain, the unspoken, but no longer untitled. This is for the undefeated. This is for you and you and you. This is for us. The end. And if you want, you can check this book out in the library and read more about all of these historical figures and events. During today's service and even during the rest of the week, if you want, it might be a good time to learn more about some of the figures in that book or other figures in our town or our country or our world who have worked for justice. Jesus said, Jesus is the light of the world. And following him, we can walk in the light too. To close today, Will you sing the first two verses of I Have Love to Share with me? I'm going to bring some friends over to join me. Ready? I have love to share with the whole wide world, and it starts with loving myself. When I take good care of my heart and soul, I have love for everyone else. I love me so I can love you. God loves me, so I can love you. Thanks, everyone. I hope you really enjoy the service today. Bye.